What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be doing another interior design tutorial. We're going to be modeling a fancy bathroom in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And if you want to download this project file as well as all of the families that I'm going to be to, going to be using for this project file, uh, check out my Patreon first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template for this project, and let's let Revit start up. And here I like to set the units up first. So just type in UN for units, and here I'm just going to change it to centimeters. For this kind of interior design project, I prefer working in centimeters. Okay, now let's go to the south elevation. And here for the level two, I'm going to change it from 400 to 300. We don't need uh, to our bathroom to be this high. Now let's go uh, down here and let's start a vault command and here I'm just going to choose a rectangle and for the height I'm going to change it from unconnected uh, to level 2 so our floors will go or our uh, walls will go from level 1 to level 2. Now you just create a simple rectangle, you zoom in and here let's set the width uh, at something like 170. And let me delete this dimension line and this let's shorten it a bit. Okay, so this will be our small bathroom, but it will have all of the amenities that we need. Okay, so once we have something like this, let's do the floors. So for the floors, I'm just going to go here to floor and then just a simple rectangle. And I'm going to create first one floor like this and let's set this to here. And let's do like 100 centimeters for the shower. So the shower will be here. And then this I can attach and kind of uh, kind of constrain in space. So do it like that. And uh, if you want to constrain this width, you can go with DI for dimension and then create this dimension and lock it in place. And now if you hit finish, if whenever you want to change this, our, our floor will be changing with it accordingly. So let's bring it back to what it was, something like this. And now let's go in and do the second floor. So floor, rectangle and go from here all the way here and just lock it on all sides and hit finish. We're going to be setting up the materials for the floor a bit later on. Okay, so once we have something that looks like this, let's add some families just to add some context to our bathroom. So if I move Revit out of the way, as you can see here, I've got uh, a few families. So I'm just going to select all of them and load them in the project. And again, as I said, check out my Patreon. Uh, all of these families as well as the final bathroom project file will be there. Okay, so once we have these families, we can go here to component and then we can choose them. So first for the water closet, you just go over here, hit space a few times and let's attach it to this wall like this near the shower. Then uh, let's go again to component, open up the drop menu. We've got this towel rack and let's place it, I don't know, kind of like that on this side. Then open up the menu again for the shower column. Uh, so I'm just going to be placing it here. So again, you hit the space button a few times and then you place it in space like this. And let's see, do we have anything else that we need? And yeah, for the base uh, sink, uh, so this will be for the sink. And here, let's set it here, but just let's set this to fine. Uh, just to make sure that you're always at fine when working with these interior elements. If you see here, if I set it to coarse, then my sink will look like this and it doesn't look, really look right. So let's set it to fine and then I go here to the wall, uh, spin it around a few times. And for the offset, let's give it an offset of like 110, something like that. And then we can set it up later on for the correct height. But yeah, let's say it should be around there. And finally, let's add a door over here. Of course, you need a door for your bathroom. And let's place a single door like this. Okay, so we've got our door, we've got our sink, we've got our bathroom, everything is looking nice already. Now we need to set up all of the materials. So for the materials, let's go and select this wall and let's go edit type, structure, and here for the structure, let's go and let's find some white material for the bathroom. So I'm just going to type in white. Yep, 
Yeah, and let's see. I like using this uh, gypsum wallboard, and uh, let's use that one because that's the whitest of the white colors in Revit. Then for the floor, for this uh, part of the floor, so for everything that's on the kind of uh, on the outside of the shower, I'm going to go into Edit Type. Uh, let's uh, let's just go here in the structure and let's change this to some wood material. So I'm just going to type in wood. I like having wood floors even in the bathroom. Of course, it would have to be some different type of wood or maybe even some fake wood, but anyway. And I like to use this uh, siding because it's it's got a nice, nice little texture to it, so I prefer using that. So I'm just going to hit apply and we have that for the bathroom. Hit apply again, okay. And for this floor, so just select it, go into edit type, duplicate and let's call it just generic floor 2 and for this one let's change to some stone material for the shower so just type in stone and let's search over here what we have yeah let's use this blue stone I really like the texture of it as you can see it looks it, it looks nice so let's use the blue stone hit apply okay so we've got blue stone there and we've got uh, some wood over here hit okay then I want this wall to be also stone and I also want to have one shelf on this wall that's kind of uh, embedded in the wall. So how do you do that? Well first we need to create a section. So just go and create a simple section like this and open it up. And here we've got our wall and now uh, go here to the wall, open up the drop menu and here you can find wall relief. Uh, now, if you select that, uh, as you can see here from the command, it's going to give you kind of a, an indentation in the wall that you're creating. So let's wait for a second to open this up. Yeah, as you can see, it creates this kind of an indenta indentation in the wall. So just select that and then you can place it on this here wall. So let's place it over here. So here you can put all of your shampoos and whatever. So we've got that little shelf uh, going on over here and you can go into edit type and change the profile if you want. Uh, you can go from default to one of these or you can even uh, create your own profile. But for now let's Let's just uh, leave it as is. I think this is good enough for this reveal. And if we go now into 3D and if I zoom around, as you can see here, we've got that little shelf going on in the wall. Next thing, let's select that wall and let's give it that stone material. So go into edit type, duplicate it, and let's call it a generic stone. And hit OK, go over here. Let's find that blue stone. Yeah, here it is, blue stone. OK, OK again, and there we go. So now this wall will be bluestone as well as the floor and the rest will be wood and everything else. OK, so now uh, let's go and create a, an, an interesting ceiling. So for the ceiling, uh, what I'm going to do is go to level one. Now, you might be tempted to go to one of the ceiling plans, but if you go there, as you can see, you can't really see anything. Uh, maybe you can do an underlay or something like that, but I think it's uh, far easier to just do the first ceiling in the uh, in the floor plan. Now here, what you need to do is you need to go here to ceilings and go with the sketch ceiling, then go here with a rectangle and let's use, yeah, let's use this ceiling and just go like this from this part to this and I'll lock it in place pretty much everywhere. I hit finish. And now if we go here into the section, the ceiling should be at, uh, I think it's like 260, that's the default. Let's set it to 240 for now. Yeah, let's do this one at 240 and then let's go back into level one and let's do another ceiling. So go to architecture, ceiling, and here let's do 280. Okay, sketch ceiling. And let's go with a rectangle like this and lock it in place everywhere. Hit finish and now let's do a, a section let's, like this, a uh, lengthwise section. So like this, open it up and yeah, as you can see we've got one ceiling over here and we've got one ceiling over here. Now the reason for this is I want this shower to look like it doesn't have any ceiling. We're going to put a lot of lighting in here so it's just going to look like there is just a bunch of light over here. Maybe you can use a, a sky window or a roof window if this is somewhere near the roof but in this case we're just going to be adding uh, artificial lights. Now uh, I need to kind of fill this hole up. It looks really ugly so for that let's go back into uh, let's go into ceiling plan. 
yeah, this, this looks all right. And here for the ceiling plan, yeah, this, I don't like this. So uh, in order to lose this grid, you just need to go into edit type and change the material. So from the ceiling tile, let's change it into that uh, that nice wood material. I, I like to have kind of the same material on floor and the uh, and the ceiling. It kind of looks nice in, in some cases, I guess. So let's use this siding. Okay, apply. Okay, and now as you can see, we lost that ugly grid that we don't really need. Now let's go here into the wall command. Uh, go into generic 200, edit type, duplicate, and let's call this one uh, generic 50. So this one will be just for the uh, uh, just for that uh, section between two uh, two of these uh, ceilings. So let's put in five centimeters. I think that will be uh, good enough. And uh, let's leave it at the gypsum wallboard. Hit OK and wait for a second. Okay, hit OK again and place it over here. And then just go with the align tool and align it in place over here. Now you need to open up this section and let's just lift it up all the way here. Okay, so just make it look like that. So now we've got that uh, hole in the ceiling filled up and now we can continue doing the rest of the bathroom. So now let's do all of the in-place elements that we need to create, but before that let's change this to fine. As you can see now we can see everything a bit finer and better. And yeah, now let's go in and do all of the in-place elements. So what are these in-place elements? Well, we need something here for the sink area and here we need some sort of a glass between the, the rest of the bathroom and the shower. So let's do that. Okay, so you go here to component model in place. Let's go with a generic family model, generic model. Let's call it generic model one and let's go with an extrusion pick a plane and let's pick this wall over here. Go with a rectangle and go kind of like that. Okay, select this line. Let's zoom in over here. Let's do one centimeter, hit finish. Okay, let's go into level one and extend it like that. Okay, let's go with the measure tool and measure like this. Okay, that's 70 centimeters. That looks good enough. Now select this and let's change the material to some glass material. So let's go with the glass. Okay, so we've got our partition and now let's do this here uh, sink area. So for that, let's go into let's go into this section. So open up the section and then uh, go with create extrusion and let's go with pick a plane. So pick the same plane as you did. Then go with a rectangle and kind of go like this. So make sure that it finishes in the same line as the wall, which is correct in this case. Then maybe we can place it like this. Now I'm not really that much worried about the heights here. Okay, you'd probably have to uh, make it look nice and proportional, but yeah, let's say this works. Maybe give a bit more room for the uh, war closet. Okay, go into level one and extend it uh, as much as you can. So let's go with 55 here. Okay, this looks good enough. Now, once we have this and now let's change the material of this thing. So go here in the material. Let's find some plastic. And yeah, let's go with plastic appearance. Uh, let's do white and let's do glossy white. Okay, it looks very bathroom like. Okay, so once we have that, I like to have a ridge going all around to separate the top plane from the uh, from the kind of door uh, drawers underneath. So for that, what I like to use is go here to create, then find void forms, void sweep, and then go with set a work plane, pick a plane and pick this top plane. Then go here into model sweep, sketch path, and let's go like this from here to here. Okay, there we go. So once we have this, let's go into one of those sections. So section one, okay, section two. Okay, so once we have this, just hit finish and now let's model that little notch. So edit profile and here let's go like this. It should probably go two centimeters inside, kind of like this, this. Yeah, let's go like that. And here let's fill it to this edge just a little bit. Yeah, this looks all right. And now we can just hit finish and again model sweep finish. And as you can see, we've got that little ridge going on. Uh, going all the way around. Now let's do the actual sink and uh, for that uh, let's do it as another void. So just go here to, uh, well, 
where we are and then <laughs> go with void forms, void extrusion, uh, pick a plane, of course, pick the same plane, go with a rectangle and I'm just going to start from here all the way to here with a simple rectangle. Then I go like this with a line going like that. Let's do one of those fancy new sinks. Then a little bit of trimming and extending and a few fillets over here and over there. And yeah, that looks good enough. Then you hit finish, go into level one and let's extend it over here, place it somewhere where the sink should be. So let's say this works. Yeah, I really like this shape, ah, maybe like this. There we go. Okay, so this sink looks good enough. Now if we go into 3D, of course we can't see anything, so make sure you're in wireframe. And yeah, this is looking pretty decent for now. Okay, and what I like to do for this thing, I like to change the top material. So this is already set to plastic, so let me just change the top to that same stone material, or maybe this void. Let's see what we can do. So let's go here to uh, manage, or sorry, modify, then go here to paint. Let's find that blue stone. Okay, here's a blue stone. And then you can go over here and select, as you can see, this whole top portion. Or we can go with the inside of, of this sink. Let's see, can we do that? Can we do this side? Yeah, let's do the inside with this blue stone. Okay, can we select this plane? There we go. This one as well. Okay, I think I've got all of them. Now, I don't want to set the materials back up, so because it will kind of, uh, then I have to go and set the transparency. So let's just go with the done and finish model. And yeah, let's double check it. I don't want to uh, make it wrong. Let's cancel out of this. So you just need to go, uh, once you set it to realistic, it's no longer, uh, it's no longer wireframe. So you need to go here to graphic display options and bring the transparency down uh, to 80% then go with OK. And as you can see now, we've got the same material inside of our sink as we do here uh, for the rest of the bathroom. So it's looking uh, really cool, as you can see. OK, so this is this is looking quite nice already. So let's do a test rendering and see what we have. And before we do that, we need some lighting. As you can see, this is a closed bathroom with no windows. So let's add some lighting. So for that, go to ceiling plan like this. And now go here to architecture, go to component, load family, and let's go in US or US metric and find lighting. Okay, lighting, architectural, internal, and let's do this uh, flat round, flat. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. Hit OK, open. So I'm just going to place, let's see, what are the dimensions of these things? Yeah, let's place two of these over here. So one over here and one over here. Maybe I can select them and kind of move them, center them. Yeah, kind of like that. Okay, so I've got these two lights and now uh, let's do one light over here. So again, go with component. Let's choose a different light. So let's use the round one. Let's see what we have. Yeah, let's use the, the the strongest one and place it over here. Okay, now if we go into our section, this is how it should look like. So we've got two lights over here, one light over here, and let's do our test rendering. So for that, let's go into level one, uh, go here with camera and just set a camera in center. And yeah, let's do something like that. Okay, this looks good enough. So let's open this whole thing up like that. Okay, I don't need to do much on this side. Let's just check this. Are all the materials set? So the main is brass. Yeah, let's say it looks all right. If I go here into realistic, just to double check. Yeah, let's see if... Okay, so we've got some materials over here. Let's hope this works out. Or maybe going to edit family and change the materials. If we can. Wireframe. Yeah, this whole thing. Yeah, all of the materials are all parametric and 
yeah, let's just hope this works out in the rendering. It's a complicated family. I don't want to mess it up. So yeah, let's just go like this. And then just double click the R button for rendering and then go here with, I'm just going to leave it at draft for now. And let's go with something like uh, interior artificial only. And then you need to set up the artificial lights. So here we've got the dimming set to maximum and I'm just going to set it at point. Let's do it at point four for all of them, point four, point four. If you don't do this, uh, you're going to have a, a light that doesn't really look right. So let's now go ahead and render. Wait for a second, let's see. And as you can see, this is looking really good right now. So we've got a lot of light, but we need to adjust exposure, maybe make it a bit brighter maybe a bit more brighter. Yeah. So as you can see, that's why I did that uh, recessed ceiling. So it looks like this whole shower, uh, the light is coming uh, on top and it looks really cool. And of course, we've got this uh, stone sink that I think it looks really cool. So all in all, I'm really happy with this project. So of course, you can add more elements, make it look a bit more interesting, add whatever you want. But that's basically how you do this uh, kind of a uh, bathroom interior in Revit. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you want to download this project file, again, check out the first link in the description to my Patreon. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for any future tutorials, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.